Hi, I'm Raquel. And I'm CJ. Have you ever wondered why you could rub your feet on carpet and zap somebody? Or when you rub a balloon against your hair and it can stick to the wall? Well, today you'll be learning about static electricity through this experiment. This will be explored with aluminum foil, paper, gelatin, Rice Krispie cereal, and styrofoam. To begin this project, you simply blow up a balloon. <laughs> you then take the balloon and draw an X on it. This X will now be used to be rubbed against the wool. After the balloon is rubbed for a couple of seconds, you can just hold the X about one or two inches above the paper plate. As you can see, the aluminum foil is jumping up pretty high. And if you're wondering how this happens, we're going to explain next. Well, the wool has a negative charge. So when I rub the balloon against the wool, the negative electrons are then transferred to the balloon. Also, there are positive electrons on the plate. All these objects are positively charged. When the balloon is near the, the paper plate, they're drawn to the balloon. This is because opposites attract. It's very similar to a magnet. When you hold the positive side of one magnet to the negative side of another magnet, they stick together. Next, we're going to explore gelatin. Just like you did with the aluminum foil, you will rub the wool against the balloon again. As you can see, it doesn't jump up. It just kind of rises up. And if you move it side to side, you can even control the movement of the gelatin. Okay, CJ, your turn. Let's try styrofoam. Wow, this one's really cool. Because the styrofoam is so lightweight, it easily jumps up to the balloon and sticks to it even after you've taken it away from the plate. This one's also very messy, so if you're doing it at home, ask your parents. Next, we're going to try Rice Krispie cereal. Whoa, that one really jumps up. It's almost like the commercial when they say, snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> yeah, it is. Okay, my turn. I want to try hole punches. For this part of the experiment, we just use a regular hole puncher, and we dumped out the paper sheds of it, and we put it on the plate and saw what happened. Whoa, that one really pops up. It's pretty exciting. Why don't we try it again? So today you learned about positive and negative charges and electrons. And also another thing you can learn from this experiment is if you don't have any wool, you can just throw a balloon against your hair. I don't think we should use CJ's hair, though. It'll create way too much static electricity. CJ. And today we're going to be doing <laughs> Wait. static electricity. electricity. Just just say today. today you will learn about static electricity in this experiment. Today you will. Okay, I got this. Have you ever wondered why you could rub your feet on carpet and zap somebody? Or when you stick a. Uh.